Hello everyone, this is Yakuro. In this short video, I'm going to briefly introduce myself and then I like to talk about the video series I'm going to start. Um, yeah, saying that, so I'm one of the community developer. Uh, mainly I contribute to the Unreal Engine 4 for the Linux platform. So one of my patches was to make Unreal Engine run with the Mesa drivers and then I contributed a lot uh, for the uh, UI of the Unreal Engine so that the editor runs uh, s smoothly <laughs> uh, or better on different window managers. Yeah, still not perfect, but yeah, so. Um, and then I made a patch that made a support for code light as a IDE. So Unreal Engine supports already KDevelop and Qt Creator, but well, so the stuff are not uh, really well integrated and code light uh, will fill that gap, hopefully. At least it does for me. And that's one thing I like to talk in the future video series. So I'm going to make a tutorial about using code light. And with that, I like to start a um, video series about uh, programming C++ and using the Unreal Engine 4 in combination with code light. Um, yeah, so... And now I'm working on a new patch which will support multiple IDEs on one platform. So at the moment, it's not that easy to, for example, to use Code Light on uh, Windows. I mean, KDevelop won't work anyway, but maybe Qt Creator could. But that will not work because most of the stuff are hard coded, so it's hard coded for Visual Studio on Windows and for Xcode on Mac. Yeah, and I'm using a Mac sometimes too, so it was, in my case, a personal thing. I wanted to have the code light on Mac too, so I started doing that. Yeah, so this is um, everything I like to say in this video. So it's all about um, code light, C++ and Unreal Engine 4 on Linux, so mainly on Linux. Um, yeah, so in the next uh, video, I'm going to show you guys uh, briefly how the stuff would work with Codelight and the Unreal Engine 4. So, see you then.